Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR. In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through Isotope's new plugin, this pretty little plugin you see here, Neoverb. Now, as the name suggests, it's a reverb plugin, and it's their first plugin they released since they partnered with Exponential Audio, the developer of some of the you know most revered reverb plugins in the past five to seven years. So I'm gonna quickly go through the general reverb functions, and then we're gonna obviously take a listen to Neoverb on a few different sources. We're gonna listen to it on vocals, guitar, piano, and a snare drum. So let's first run through the reverb. It sounds great, as you'd expect from anything exponential audio. Now over here at the left, we have these three components that make up, potentially make up our reverberated signal. And they correspond to this beautiful guitar pick looking shape that's basically an XY pad, and you can morph between these three different components of the reverberated sound. So we have our reflections, which is like the early reflections. We can turn it on and off by clicking here, and we can open up the advanced tab view to see more controls. Now under that, we have our first reverb algorithm or algorithms. They are the small slash medium style. So we have room, plate, and chamber, or medium chamber. And then under that, we have the large slash extra large algorithms. We have large chamber and hall. So we could use this slider to go more towards the large chamber right now, or this would be more towards the medium chamber. And this would just basically be the early reflections. I scream my love at you, but you were never listening to me. There's nothing I could do. Yes. I scream my love at you, but you were never listening to me. There's nothing I could do. Your silence was so cool. I scream my love at you, but you were never listening to me. There's nothing I could do. I scream my love at you, but you were never listening to me. There's nothing I could do. Your silence was. I scream my love at you, but you were never listening to me. There's nothing I could do. So the cool thing, obviously, about it being an ISO plugin is the AI. If you guys have you ever used ISO plugins, you know that they're big on you know assistance and basically a robot behind the scenes helping you do things. So there is a reverb assistant. Now I find this much more useful personally than going through a reverb preset, and it's a little bit easier because it's it's more intuitive to how I think about reverb. I'm not thinking uh, okay vocals. I'm not thinking vocal preset, and then I'm not thinking necessarily like oh I want a short plate right. I'm thinking more in terms like bright, airy, dark. You know uh, like ethereal, like ambient, that type of stuff. So if we click on the reverb assistant, those are the type of things we'll see. So I'm gonna go for a little bit more dramatic than real realistic. We'll go large for this, we'll hit airy, and we'll keep the dry wet pretty much where it is. Then we'll hit next and hit, we'll play the audio. And then we'll hit accept. And there is our reverb assisted sound. Now, what it was doing on that last screen where it says cleaning things up with the pre-EQ and the reverb EQ, we have those down here. And basically what it was doing, it was listening to the sound, thinking about where it would fit in the scope of the mix and trying to remove any unwanted buildup or kind of muddy frequencies. And we can control the amount that it does that here, right? So. I scream my love at you, but you were never listening to me. There's nothing I so you can hear that it's a subtle difference, difference, but in the context of a mix, that can be a very important thing. So that's one way to use the you know assistant to get going. Now from there, you could further tweak the sound, right? So now we can crossfade between these. So something that I could see myself doing is maybe in the verse section or, you know, the uh, in intro to a song or even a build up, I, I could see myself automating through to different types of reverb with the same preset. So what I mean by that is maybe in the verse, it would be this, you know, shorter reverb. I scream my love at you, but you were never listening. 
Maybe as the song got into more of a pre-chorus or a build, I could just take the slider down here, which is pretty cool. I scream my love at you, but you were never listening to me. There's nothing I could do. Your silence was so crippling. All right, so now we're gonna test out Neoverb on a guitar lead. So here's what it sounds like with no reverb, a little bit of delay, and a basic clean amp sim setting. And here it is with some Neoverb. And here it is in the context of this, this demo. All right, so now we're gonna check it out on a piano. So this is one of our pianos, it's actually unreleased, but it's a really nice sounding kind of a character piano. And I'm gonna turn the reverb all the way down so it's really dry. Here's what it sounds like. All right, so now I'm gonna go into some of the experimental presets, see how you know much we can kind of get in there and jack up this sound. So let's try outer orbit. That's really cool, it's nice and lush. All right, so there's one called Lush Synth Verb, and that sounds pretty cool. Kind of a short delay, short reverb, I like it. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna check this out on is going to be a snare sound. Now, I was recently working on a new sound set in Sample Pack and I was having a hard time getting the reverberated snare sound that I was going for. And there's only a couple reverb plugins that I could use to get the sound that I wanted. So I'm gonna see how Neoverb does. So I'm doing this real time. So let's go and let's choose a preset. I don't wanna go into uh, the AI assistant for this. Let's try doing clean snare plate and see how this sounds. Okay, so that's a nice reverb for a snare for sure. Um, I don't know if it'll work for what I was going for, but we can probably tweak it. Let's take a listen in context with the rest of the drums. So that's a pretty good snare sound. Let's take this more towards the plate. Let's turn the space up. Yeah, that's nice. So we'll turn the pre-delay up a little bit as well. So what I like to do is I like to see how much time in milliseconds the snap of the snare takes. So this one's actually a little bit off beat and it's adding a little bit of the groove, right? So that might be a little bit of an issue. So I might move this back for the pre, I might turn, I mean, I might turn the pre-delay up, pre up a little bit higher because I have all this time right here before I even get to the snare. So if I have my millisecond set to, to, you know, too low, it's gonna actually wash over the transient of my snare and that's not what I want. So let's try this. All right, so I like to dial it up at a really high amount and then just kind of work backwards. So I don't want to hear any of that kind of douche. So that sounds pretty good. Let's listen to it in the context. All right, so the last couple things I want to quickly go over. It's 
over here at the top right hand corner. Obviously, we have a dry wet slider and a level, but there's some interesting things happening up here. We have our pre delay, which can be synced. And you guys saw me messing around with that with the snare, obviously. But then there's this smooth knob right here, which is all about smoothing out the reverb tail and making it more cohesive in terms of what's going on with the transients with the source sound. So that's pretty cool. And then above here, we have a mod source, which allows us to introduce a little bit of course and a little bit of movement to the sound as well. So that's a pretty common feature you'll see in reverb plugins. Now, that being said, there's one feature that I'm that I think is missing from this. And I, it'd be awesome if uh, in maybe an update in the future, Isotope adds. And it's something that is pretty common in probably about the last year or so you see it uh, cropping up in a lot of reverb plugins. It's an envelope follower slash ducker. And it's great for vocals because those types of things allow you to basically have the reverb swell when there's a space in the vocal. And that's something that a lot of people do. They'll automate in and being able to have that be more of an automated process within the plugins. Nice. So that's why the only thing I'm thinking, you know, I'm missing. But I like the overall sound of this reverb a lot. So it would be a little bit of a kind of a Tough decision, a toss up if I wanted to use this on vocals or one with the, you know, the envelope follower and ducker, but it's a great sounding reverb plugin, easy to use. And that's really all you can ask for. So if you guys have any questions or comments, post those below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.